Hey guys, welcome back to Squealing Pig Guitars. My name is Ben, and this is Jack over here, and today we're gonna to be going over the guitars we've got in for this week. So we've got a good range of guitars today. We've got some Gibson Custom, Fender Custom Shop, Musicman, and PRS. So to start us off, uh, Jack's gonna go through a Fender. So let's have a look at this one. So this is a really nice first version, Eric Clapton. It's one of the first versions because it's got the Fender lace sensor pickups. It's a lovely guitar, this. Um, really, really good condition. It's really hard to find these in, do you know I mean, really good condition, especially with the necks because they tend to show quite a lot of wear on because they tend to be thinly lacquered around this period. But yeah, that's a lovely guitar, that. Definitely sort of collecting material. So this is a, a Gibson Custom R8. I'll get it out for you now. So beautiful color on this one. Got a nice sunrise burst, which is quite a limited finish for these R8s. And as I said, it's a 58, so you've got a massive neck on it. Uh, classic custom bucket pickups, ABR1 bridge. Lovely, and the finish is NOS, so completely clean. No Voss or relicking in sight. So if you like clean guitars, this one's for you. Right, so next up we've got a really nice PRS here. I've been waiting to show you guys this one. This one's an absolute stunner. So here we've got, this one's actually, this guitar has actually sold, but I thought I'd obviously put it on video because it's such a stunning example. This is a PRS a Modern Eagle. Um, it's got a blue fade top. These faded PRS tops are really popular at the moment. They're really hard to get hold of. Um, so I was quite lucky to get this from an overseas supplier. But yeah, the top on that's stunning. Not sure if you can see on the camera there. You've actually got a Brazilian rosewood fretboard on this one. And you've also got a flamed uh, maple neck which looks really, really nice. Really nicely tied, really nice tight figuring on that. So yeah, lovely example there. So yeah guys, we've got another Gibson Les Paul. This one's a gold top. Uh, this is the Billy Gibbons limited edition one with a pinstripe job. So you see absolutely stunning if you get that gold in the right, in, in the light even. Um, but yeah, this one's really good. So it's basically a chambered body, so really, really light for an LP. So if you don't want a heavy one, this is great. Uh, got simplified controls, got uh, no pickup switch. It's just two volumes and a tone. And yeah, nice fat neck. Got anything else to mention about this, Jack? Yeah, well, um, well, the only, only other thing really is that this one's a Voss version. They actually brought out an age version as well. Both are in limited production, but you don't really see the Voss version that often, especially in the UK. But yeah, just a, another yeah. really nice example. Like you said, it's really nicely yeah, weighted yeah. as well. This one has eight on as well, which I believe is what Billy Gibbons used. Might be wrong, but yeah, very light playing guitar with the chambering. It's a really unique sound, so if you want it for something a little bit different than your regular LP, this is perfect. So I've got another nice Fender here for you, Ben. Lovely. You know how much I love Fenders. <laughs> So this is, this is quite a unique guitar actually. Um, some of you might have heard of the Master Design series, but this is um, Fender Telecaster, Master Design by, I think it's Paul, I think you pronounce his surname Waller, Paul Waller. Um, but Paul's been uh, with the Master Build team since I think around 2010, so he's been with them for a good while. But he's done a lot of guitars for like Keith Richards, U2 and whatnot. So his forte is sort of Telecasters, um, I would say. But yeah, this guitar in particular is really nice. It's yeah. got a really nice fat neck, hasn't it? Yeah, is this Lovely. roasted bird's eye, is it? Yeah, roasted bird's eye. Yeah, with the clear kind of maple strip, which is quite unique. Um, yeah. yeah, really nice guitar. Classic it's, tuners. Yeah, classic tuners. It's got, it's, well, was originally a NOS finish, um, but it's been played, so it has got a few little sort of dings on there and stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, really nice guitar. The Master Design series, for those of you that you don't know, uh, was originally introduced so that master builders could design their own perfect guitar. So they're not actually built by the master builders themselves, they're just designed by them. Um, but yeah, they are quite hard to get hold of and they do fetch quite a lot of money on the second hand, second hand market. But yeah, nice to actually get one in. And if you don't mind a few like, sort of dings and stuff, it's a really nice player's guitar.
So yeah guys, got another Les Paul, uh, this time um, in a beautiful blue denim finish. Very PRS-like even, but very rare for a Les Paul to have a finish like this. Got coil taps, so quite unique. Uh, two Burst Booker Pro pickups. Got a um, solid blue finish on the back. Got anything else to say about this one, Jack? Um, yeah, it's not, it's not done to a storage spec. It's actually a Gibson uh, Custom Pro. Um, it's a limited run that was actually done for Guitar Center, so it was imported from the States. Took quite a long time to get here, but I'm glad it's arrived in one piece. But, but yeah, you got hand-picked top, you got your, your coil tabs. But yeah, really comfortable, really nicely, yeah. evenly weighted. Yeah, lovely, one, lovely guitar, love the top on it. So yeah, welcome back to Gibson Corner. We've got another LP now. So this one's a R9, so a 59 reissue. This one's got a cherry sunburst on it, so we've got a little bit more red in the corner. It's quite dark, lovely burst in real life. Um, some absolutely lovely flame there. And again, quite similar to the other one we just had. Nice round neck, quite big. Um, and we've got the Custom Booker Pros, ABR1 Bridge, and we've got Bumblebee caps on the tones, so a lovely all-round example. Completely NOS, so completely clean. No VOS or relicing on this one, so again, another case queen. Right, so last fender, what have we got? Ah, it's the a story behind this one, isn't it, Ben? Yeah, what was this, Johnny Mars? Yeah, so basically this guitar was previous, well, we were told it was previously owned by Johnny Marr. Um, so yeah, he's obviously had it in his hands, whether that is any good feel or whether you like Johnny Marr, I'm not too sure, but this particular guitar is a 60, 60s Fender Telecaster reissue, so you've got the slim sort of maple neck, yeah, uh, cool. rosewood fretboard, journeyman relic finish on that. Yeah, it's got a really, really thin rosewood board, which is quite unique. Uh, nice rounded neck, got a little bit, is this, I imagine this is relic, right? This is not natural. Yeah, so work. it's a journeyman relic, so yeah. it's sort of like in between uh, closet classic and your normal relic, so there is some sort of like friendly dings on the go there and some weather checking yeah. on the back and whatnot. Um, it's very natural though. Yeah, I think not if, over the top. Yeah, I think if you can have a finish like this, like a metallic finish, it looks better with um, sort of a lesser form of relicking. Because yeah. you want the finish to show you, don't you, if it's nice. So um, It's really nice, that one. Yeah, it's got the case candy, everything comes with it. Um, but yeah, all round nice guitar, especially if you like that sort of 60s spec. What's well, so moving on, this one is really nice PRS. This one's a DGT, which stands for Dave Grissom, is it? Yeah. <laughs> David Grissom, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what a guy. I don't, I don't. Yeah. So, I mean, there's there's a lot of features to talk about this this guitar in particular. Obviously, it's a signature model. You've got a lovely burnt maple leaf finish on there, which used to be sort of like a private finish option, a uh, private stock finish option. Um, it's got a lovely ebony fretboard. Um, yeah, but he's had it designed to his spec. It's got really like creamy. The the neck tones really creamy and the um, the bridge pickups like really, really tight and uh, the mids are quite low. So yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a unique guitar, it's lovely. It's What's also really cool about this, right, with the controls is that if you're into Les Pauls, for say, you've got two volume knobs and one tone. So when you go from the neck to the bridge, it means you can have your neck pickup off and then you bridge on or have it set to a different volume, which is great, which is not a standard feature on any PRS. Yeah. And then as Jack was gonna say, that flame top, uh, flame back. Flame maple neck, yeah. Absolutely it's beautiful. Net. Yeah, it's got all the paperwork, again, really, really clean. Um, yeah, really, really nice guitar. This actually came from Sound Effects Premier. They did, Sound Effects Premier have had some like limited edition wood library runs, like one of the Bonnie Pinks we've got up there is a Sound Effects Premier, and they're just really high spec for the money. So yeah, it's a really good value, bang for your buck money guitar, this one. Yeah, so basically this is, this is a Gibson Les Paul standard premium, yeah. premium top. But um, during sort of like 2014, Gibson went a bit haywire and they started like putting robotic tuners on everything. And a lot of the purists were sort of not happy with how Gibson were operating at the time. But on, on the other hand, they had access to some really, really nice Gibson tops. Advantages of this, so we've got locking tuners, which obviously helps tune stability. This neck's quite thin for a Les Paul anyway. You can see it's quite, it's almost like D-shaped. Um, so definitely good for maybe someone who's starting on a Les Paul and wants a, a good one. Got kind of almost like a, it's flamed, but it's got a little bit of quilt here. Really dark fretboard. Is this rosewood? Yeah, yeah, it's dark rosewood. It's so yeah. dark, I mean, you could I say that for ebony almost. It's but yeah, it's not rich light, you can see the wood grain. Yeah, and uh, got coil taps Yeah, coil go. taps, which is good, versatile instrument. So again, not, not a completely classic LP, but definitely good for maybe a modern player. Music man. 
Now these guitars are very much in demand at the moment, so they're really hard to get hold of. I've found that I've having to import them from the States because there's a lot of people in the UK that want them. Um, but yeah, this is a Music Man Axis with a Floyd Rose. Um, and just look at that, look at the top on that, it's lovely. AA Court Maple Top. Really, really quite cute taint, small taint. Is that the word I'm looking for? Taint? Quaint. <laughs> Quaint. Quaint. Lovely Quaint small axe, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good for yeah. the shredders. Yeah, it's got bird's eye maple neck. Well known for its affiliation with Eddie Van Halen, some of the early ones that he did. Yeah. And it sort of carried on this series up until... Yeah, the cool thing about this as well, even though we've got you know, a fairly small neck, it's still rounded, so if you play like Les Pauls or you're into like kind of fairly standard fenders with a good neck, yeah, it's, it's a great next play, but it's still kind of fast. It's got a good rounded shape to it, if you can see there. Yeah. Sweet.